Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go over web audits, why they're useful, why they're important, and how to run one yourself. Like everything, websites require adjustment occasionally to help improve the experience and efficiency. Running a website audit ensures that you are able to fix any issues that may be preventing traffic from coming onto your site. No matter what size your business is, no matter how big your site is, audits are crucial to assess what problems your site has with technical issues, SEO issues, any user experience issues. By taking time to audit your site, you are giving yourself and your brand more opportunities to identify and improve pages or content that are underperforming or having a negative impact on your website. Um, it's integral for site development and you should try to perform a website audit every three months. So a website audit is a process of examining your site's performance before tackling SEO and or uh, website issues. Doing an audit helps you understand why your website isn't generating enough traffic and it helps you see technical issues and understand why your sales and conversion rates aren't developing properly and how you can improve user experience. Once you have located problems, you need to fix them. Ensuring that you have the technical knowledge is critical for fixing issues on the site. And if you don't have this, no this knowledge, it's advised to pass it on to someone in your organization who understands development or hire someone to help you. When it comes to analyzing your website performance and some actionable tips. Um, there's lots of different metrics you can use um, as a website owner when you're analyzing the performance. The following performance metrics that should always be analyzed are website speed performance met metrics, content complexity, user behavior, and acquisition. So for example, performance metrics, website speed performance metrics, Speed performance metrics are essentially concern how long it takes for your site to load. So for example, um, time to a title is how long it takes your title to load and sh show up on the browser's tab. This is really important because if it's too slow, you will lose losers, users who are not keen on waiting for anything to, lo to load. Time to interact is how long it takes for the page to load to the point that the user is able to interact with it. This is also really important as you don't want your audience to move uh, audience to become impatient at a seemingly frozen web page and move on. Connection time is the time it takes to establish a server connection between the user's browsers and your website server. When it comes to analyze your performance, a really good tool to use is GT Metrics. So GT Metrics is a free online tool that you can use to uh, understand how fast your page is load your uh, a page on your website is loading and what are the common issues or what are the most biggest issues that are causing uh, performance load times on your website. You submit a URL into the GT Metrics tool and it'll start scanning your site to see for any complex issues, analyze um, with Lighthouse and make a list of all the improvements that need to be made onto your website. The tool will then give you a performance grade um, a letter grade and it will also give you a performance percentage as well um, and you can use that to kind of gauge how fast or slow your site is and scrolling down you can see a list of top issues and they'll rank these issues from low medium to low medium and then high um, anything that is ranked as a high uh, impact issue is something that you want to fix uh, immediately because these are usually the biggest things that are causing a hindrance to uh, your website and causing it to slow down um, which means that people can miss out on uh, coming onto your website. Going back to website audits, um, website audits are important because they inform you of how your website is performing, what's working properly and what needs to be amended to allow for smooth functioning. This will help you rank better and produce more traffic. Um, and some of the things that you should include that should be included uh, in every single website audit, uh, one of them is a site security audit. So while SEO and web design are naturally some of the first things that any website owner would choose to assess and monitor, website security is equally as important to prevent any issues for potential customers. Cybersecurity breaches happen daily to small and large businesses, so ensuring that your site is catered for security-wise is in integral. These issues can massively impact large companies, but research from the, from the National Cybersecurity Alliance found that 60% of small businesses end up closing only six months after a security beach. Um, finding out what sections of your website that are vulnerable allows you to identify breaches and fix them before you before anything serious happens, like a data breach or a leak of personal protection.
When it comes to site security, there's two ways to ensure that your site is fully secure, um, especially when it comes to WordPress security. So uh, one way is to ensure you choose a good hosting provider that are well equipped to understand uh, what are the common uh, security breaches that can happen with uh, WordPress websites and be able to accommodate for that and be able to protect your site against that. Um, and another way is to ensure that your site itself has plugins that are that help you protect your site. Um, there are a few good plugins that you can use, um, some free, some paid, to ensure that you guys have uh, strong security on your WordPress site. The first one being Security. So Security is one of the best free WordPress security plugins available today. Um, this is an all-in-one security solution and it's really popular uh, for really good reasons. Although Security is a great free WordPress security plugin for websites, the pro version is actually uh, where most of the features are at. So some common features of Security is that they will clean up your WordPress site at no additional cost um, if it's infected with malware. Um, it's easy setup on your WordPress dashboard. Um, and web application firewall uh, protection helps block a lot of brute force and DDoS attacks from accesses, accessing your website, which uh, is a common kind of, uh, which is a common threat to WordPress websites. Um, so they are kind of well equipped to handle that. They let you conduct file integrity monitoring and malware scanning, um, and of course, mal malware removal. Um, this makes Security a great mal malcare uh, alternative. So if you are currently using malcare, um, Security might be a different option for you because it includes a lot more features and it does do uh, the work that malcare also do. Um, they have effective security hardening and they keep track of everything that happens on your site um, including file changes, last logins, failed att login attempts, things like that. There are some plans and that offer DDoS protection. If you go onto their pricing, uh, if you go onto their pricing page, you can see um, their pricing and what they're offering if you were to upgrade to one of their premium plans. But some plans do offer advanced DDoS protection um, as well. They can reduce server load time and improve your site's performance by because they are blocking all the malicious traffic that's coming in. And their server static content comes from their own CDN servers. It also protects your website against uh, SQL inject injections, um, XXS, and all, on all other known attacks. Um, the main downside to Security is uh, a lot of the, their features come with their premium plans. So they do have a free version of it, but the pro version of the plan can start from uh, anywhere from $200 a year all the way up to $500 a year, depending on uh, how big your site plan is and how many of the features you'll actually use. Um, uh, the main differences between these plans is um, the hours of malware remo removal. Um, and how frequently they they run their security scans as well. Another plugin that's re strongly recommended for if you are wanting to um, improve the security on your site is the iTheme Security Pro. If you're a WordPress user, you might be familiar with the team that created iTheme Security Pro um, because they also built the uh, popular plugin Backup Buddy and, and lots of other great themes and plugins. All of their tools offer an easy to use interface for brute force security protection and more. Um, so you can see with their iTheme Security Pro um, and on their website, you can see exactly what they are offering um, in terms of their features. So they do offer two factor authentication for an extra layer of security. They have powerful uh, password enforcement. They have 404 de detection and plugin scans. Um, they are also a plugin that uh, do scheduled WordPress backups. Uh, so you don't have to worry about if it's something that your hosting provider don't offer. Um, you can do that as well on inclusive with the um, iThemes pay plan. Um, they are, iThemes Security Pro are also great at locking out any suspicious IP and it scans for vulnerabilities on your site as well so they can't get, gain access. Um, they send email alerts to notify you of any recent file updates on your site that may be malicious and they have the ability to limit login attempts. Um, so it's a really good kind of overall protection, for, especially for your WordPress plugins and themes. Um, although there's no uh, website protection or malware scan, they do use Security site, site Check Malware Scanner as well. And the main downside to this, similar to Security, is that they uh, do have 
the pricing plans um, that are a little bit more expensive if you were to go for their free as opposed to pro. Um, they can start at $99 a year um, and be, but they can go all the way up to $749 a year. Um, and the thing to watch out for is that they uh, only cover for a certain number of plans. So the most basic plan will only cover one site and the agency plan will cover uh, three sites. That's kind of where they all differ. Um, but you can go through their website and just see exactly what they are offering um, within each plan and what you're not getting if you just stick with the pro version, if you just stick with the free version as well. Um, another advanced uh, popular all-in-one solution for uh, WordPress site security is Jetpack. So Jetpack is an uh, all-in-one solution for WordPress security. They are well, they're they're a really well-known plugin and they let you and they'll basically scan your WordPress website for files and security vulnerabilities, and they have over five million active installs. Um, you can see with their products. Um, And you can see exactly what they offer in terms of their features. They offer things like real-time backups save every change you make to your website, which is a pretty generous amount of backup saves that you can have. Um, they have one-click restore to get your site back online quickly. They also have an activity log uh, that tells you exactly which action or uh, which save kind of broke your site. Um, they have a decentralized malware scanning that keeps your site safe from security threats. They offer lots of anti-spam protection um, by automatically blocking spam in blog comments. And it alerts you via email the moment it detects that your WordPress site is down. So you'll have instant notification of any kind of downtime. The brute force protection defends your site against login attacks and harmful malware. Again, those are just really common um, attacks that can happen on your WordPress website. Um, they also keep your WordPress plugins automa automatically updated and lets you know if you're using the latest version of WordPress. So you know that um, your plugins are always going to be updated um, and that's a really important feature when it comes to WordPress security. You need to make sure that all of your plugins and themes are updated to the latest version. Um, the free version of Jetpack includes the WordPress security features and the security plan starts at uh, 20 pounds a month and there's also a scan add-on that you can get for five dollars a month as well. Um, so just something to kind of think about whenever you are uh, going onto your site. Another great solution for WordPress website security is WP Scan. This is a really user-friendly tool and it's been around since 2012 and can keep your website safe and secure on the back end. It works by cataloging tons of different known threats and reports, the, mo the important ones to use, so you can avoid any unwanted security issues. Um, some of their features include open source tools with unique functionality that can be used to scan remote WordPress installations. Um, so it can really pinpoint any of the security issues that you have. Their database of vulnerabilities is updated daily by community members, and it's a dedicated WordPress security specialist as well. Um, they have daily automatic scans to look for malicious code. Um, they have enabled email notifications. So you have email notifications for any kind of issues that might be on your site. Um, and there's uh, also a free version of this plugin, and that's great for most websites. If you do have a big site and that uses a lot of plugins, then the paid version of WP Scan would be better for you. And it starts at around two dollars thirty one a month, so you can go into the pricing page here, um, and you can get a quote for small business, or you can get a quote for an enterprise as well. Um, and this really just depends on how many sites that you have, where you have just like a, a really big site as well. Next thing you then have is WordFence. So WordFence is a WordPress security plugin that has some amazing features to protect your WordPress website that you can use. Um, and by far it has the most uh, number, bigger range of features in their free version compared to the other plugins that you've seen so far. Um, so you can use the, the basic version as well for free. Um, the basic version is free to use on as many sites as you need. It monitors uh, visits and hack attempts in real time including their origin and their IP address, the time of day and the time amount of time spent on your site. 
Um, they track alerts uh, about breach password usages, so you can create new strong passwords immediately. They have protection against brute force attacks by limiting failed login attempts, and they have customizable email alerts as well. The pro version will let you monitor all sites from a central dashboard, so that's kind of downside. If you do have more um, a multiple amount of sites, um, you are able to see all a security scan of all of your sites in one place if you were to buy the pro, pro plan. Um, so the paid version is priced at around $99 a year. Um, however, you get most of the features for free anyway with the basic plan. Uh, bulletproof security is another WordPress security plan that doesn't um, that it doesn't offer as much in the free version as some of the other plugins would, but they do do give you some basic security features for free, so it's worth uh, sort of taking a look and see if it works for you. Um, they have an easy to use setup wizard. They do have malware scanning and firewalls. They also do database backups, um, not full site backups, but they will back up your database. Um, for you. They have login protections and they have uh, email notifications with security logs as well. So when a user gets logged out, uh, locked out from failed login attempts, you're aware of that as well. They also have something called ideal uh, session logouts. So um, when a session, if someone is has a session on your website logged in, um, but they have remained idle for a number of period of time, then they will get automatically logged out. Um, there is no cost to Bulletproof Security. It is all free. Um, but even the free version do offer sort of like a lot of basic features that uh, might be worthwhile looking into. Um, another good security plugin is All-in-One WP Security and Firewall. It's very easy to use and it's also free um, and you to apply to uh, all, add you to your own WordPress websites. Um, and they do apply WordPress best practices for security to your small business website. But the tool is very basic and not as beginner friendly as the more well-known solutions. Um, but some of the features that they offer is uh, scanning for malicious patterns. They offer IP filtering to block specific people and geographical locations. Um, they do have login lockdowns after failed login attempts. Um, there's a view, you can view a list of locked out users to unlock to unlock individuals in just a few clicks if you ever needed to. Um, they have user account monitoring and a website level firewall. Um, it does lack a DNS level firewall as some of the other uh, plugins might offer, um, but you can manually blacklist suspicious IP address at your uh, if you want to as well. Um, again, no cost to this one either. It's completely free. Uh, again, not as beginner friendly as the others, but they do have a lot of features that are useful to add to your website anyway. Um, so if you're not wanting to spend so much or if you don't not want to spend at all on a security plugin, then this might be a good one to go for. Lastly, then uh, is Google Authenticator. So Google, Google Authenticator will let you you. Uh, add two-factor authentication with WordPress. So setting up two-factor authentication will just give you an extra layer of security and that's a really good idea um, to kind of do that. Um, and a lot of uh, the plugins that we've seen so far, they don't offer that um, as part of their features. So it adds an extra layer of security to your login and it has a very simple interface and is very moderately easy to use. It lets you pick which type of two-factor authentication you want to use. Um, and it, it does offer shortcodes as well. So you can do things like use it on customer login pages um, and it's completely free. So um, it's one of those plugins that you can use on top of one of the other plugins that we've seen so far, because uh, so far um, not all of the plugins that we've seen will offer this um, as an option. If you're looking for a WordPress security plugin that has it all, um, then that would be something like security that we see in first hand. So um, it does have quite a few features that you'll need to protect your website. Um, instead of just a few, but again, it just depends on your budget and if the free version works for what it is that what you want as well. Um, but they have a lot of the features that would be you would be looking for if you wanted a fully secure site. This includes things like website scanning, DNS, firewalls, um, and their own cloud-based server and CDN network. Um, whether or not you need WordPress security plugin, it's always uh, 
recommended. Uh, so the average website is hacked 44 times every day. If one of those attacks are successful, they could seriously hurt your business online. Um, WordPress security plugins can protect you from these threats and making them a worthwhile investment. But again, it's uh, it's all dependent on your own budget and how much you're willing to spend um, and how much security that you think you need as well. So that kind of covers site security. Um, the other thing that you want to consider to add onto your website audit is site health audit. So a site health audit can help you analyze the usability and the architecture of your site. You can find issues in um, areas like meta issues in your meta description, issues in any broken links, uh, internal linking, your site performance, site structure, page speed, uh, page titles and load times. There are loads of tools out there to help you run a site health audit, but the two of the best uh, available tools out there are SEMrush and Google Analytics. Once you have run an audit that takes full consideration of these factors, you will be able to ensure that your site is running at maximum efficiency. Um, in terms of Google Analytics, you need to make sure that you create a Google Analytics client and just add the Google tracking code um, onto your website. Um, with WordPress, you can do that uh, simply using in the adding the tracking tag into your file codes or you can uh, install a plugin as well like Google Tag Manager to just simply uh, add the, ta the tag onto the plugin and it'll start tracking your site as well. As soon as the tag is on the site then Google will start uh, immediately tracking your site and then within a month's time you'll have a month's worth of analytics to go through and see what you can improve in terms of um, all your page speech, page title, any missing meta descriptions, things like that. Other things you want to add to your audit is a content and SEO audit. So content is king and it's important to analyze uh, content performance to see what is working on your site and what is lagging. Doing an SEO and content audit can help identify duplicate content, issues with broken links, alt tags and meta descriptions. Having faulty content can, call, can confuse crawler bots that their report that report their findings to search engines. This can hurt your rankings, making it really difficult to regularly audit your SEO and your content. So creating relevant and unique content that engages an audience is a great way to attract prospective customers. When it comes to checking uh, your site for content and any SEO issues, so there are loads of free tools out there, um, one of them being SEObility. So SEObility works similarly to how GT Metrics works. So you would uh, type in the link of the URL um, of the page that you wanted to check the SEO on. It will then scan that link and run a, a small, a quick kind of SEO audit to make sure that you have the basic SEO, SEO rules in place and whichever ones you're missing, um, they'll list that out for you and then you can ha you have, you then have an actionable list of things to fix on your website or on that page um, to improve the site's SEO. So for example, once you type the name, the, once you have the report generated, it will generate something like this. It'll give you a score in total. Um, it'll give you some, a percentage total for your meta information, your page quality and things like that. Um, and it'll give you a task list of SEO improvements. And this might be a lot of improvements that you might need to be made. Um, or it might be, um, as low as this. And you basically just want to use this as a list of things to kind of fix. If you scroll down, you can see a more uh, in-depth list of what they look out for and what you're doing well. Um, things like your uh, domain length, uh, page URL, um, things like your meta tags, how well they're formatted. Um, it'll analyze your page quality um, and it'll an analyze your mobile optimization as well. And it'll analyze um, things like your image SEO and analyze your uh, heading structure as well. All of these things are really important uh, into making sure that your site is optimized as much as possible for SEO, but the SEO ability tools is really helpful as it can generate essentially a checklist for you to go through each thing and make sure that your site can accommodate for all of the things that you're missing um, and then improve that score as much as possible as well.
As well as this, you can also run a competitor site audit. So one of the ways of consistently improving your site is to do a competitor site audit. And through doing this, you can get a really unique insight into what your competitors are doing that's performing well and learning and learn from their achievements um, and their mistakes as well. You'll be able to know how to improve processes, deal with problems with your, within your niche. Um, and this helps you implement a really strong and rounded digital marketing strategy that takes into account the strengths and weaknesses of your competitors. Um, another audit that you can uh, run is a social media presence audit. So every social media campaign is created as a means to drive traffic to a website and turn the prospective customers into sales. So using social media strategies that have good call to actions or lead forms or even signing up to a loose newsletter is a really great way to drive engagement. Struggling to get this type, if you're struggling to get this type of engagement, it might be because you don't have a well-optimized site that prioritizes user experience and also has good UI. Assessing your social media engagement will also help you make the right decisions when fixing your website after a site audit. So um, if you find that a lot of people, you have a high um, social media following, but that following isn't following onto your tra website traffic, then you know then there's an issue with your website in terms of, and it could be something as simple as mobile optimization. Um, if users are coming onto your site on a mobile and it's not, which is likely whenever they are coming on from social media, um, it's likely they are going to click off as soon as possible because your site isn't going to be optimized for mobile. Um, when it comes to uh, social media traffic, it's one of the best ways to get traffic onto your website. It's because it's easier to grow uh, traffic on your social media and move that following over to your website. So it's really important that your website is um, optimized to be used on mobile phones. You can also run things like penalty and recovery audits and conversion rate optimization, optimization audits. So when it comes to penalty and recovery audits, it'll help you uncover issues that might have been found by search engine algorithms. So if you run a penalty and recovery audit to see what manual or algorithmic issues you're having to help your recover your site and you can start to rank again, so that might be an option. And conversion rate optimization audits will help you understand more about what the user about the user that visits your site. So using um, conversion rate optimization or CRO, it's used to find out what people do when they're on your page and how they move throughout your site and why they might not be con converting. For any action a user takes on your site, you have to appreciate who are you optimizing it for, which is your target audience. What are you optimizing? So what content isn't performing well and where to optimize it? So what pages needs to be reviewed? When it comes to uh, aud auditing your site, you uh, need to have the tools to kind of to know how to audit your site. Um, creating a functional plan will help you deliver what you need to have a high-performing site. Uh, your plan can help show the SEO efficiency of your site. You can analyze your site's competitors and learn from what they're doing right. You can identify issues and how to make the correct changes. And you can also make a plan for your website's future development. So um, some ways to audit your site. Um, one of them is... Uh, performing a site crawl. So site crawls are a really great way to check for any issues your site might be experiencing. Tools mentioned before like SEMrush are really great because they will essentially crawl your site and gather information like um, uh, internal linking, internal SEO, site performance and things like that. Um, another tool you can use is Screaming Frog. So Screaming Frog SEO Spider again works similar to um, a SEMrush where you would type in the name of the uh, URL that you want scanning. So essentially the name of the um, site that you have and it will scroll the entire site and check for 404 errors, um, no index commands, coding issues, all of these things can make up part of your uh, site crawl and then you can use that to kind of see what's going right, what's going wrong and things like that. Um, Things like the coding issues, no index commands, and 404 errors contribute to a negative user experience. This can cause high bounce rates um, through broken links, and this will all uh, negatively affect SEO, as do 500 errors. They're usually due to issues with your internal servers, things like 502 bad gateways, 503 services unavailable, um, are just some of the issues you will see on your site. 
Um, another ma major issue is duplicated content. So doing a site doing a site crawl will allow you to see what content has been duplicated, including title tags, meta description. Um, also ensuring that redirects are properly in implemented is really important. 301 redirects allow you to redirect an old URL and direct it to an existing page. And this helps maintain your SEO rankings um, and allowing people to access important information. Um, the other thing you need to un uh, know what to do is sort your technical SEO. So technical SEO can be made very easy through tools such like uh, Hrefs, SEMrush, Screaming Frog Spider, um, things like that. Um, and you can use an SEO audit to rewrite page titles with solid meta description and then check for canonical URLs. Having good t page titles makes it much easier for, Google's and you for Google and users to understand what is on your page. There should be a unique title on every single page and they should be under 50 characters with a target keyword included. Um, this keyword is going to be the main word that you want that specific page to rank for and they should explain what is on that page. Meta descriptions are also uh, integral for SEO. They are longer than, ti than titles and are able to elaborate for Google and users what is on the page and what they have clicked on. It should be engaging and attractive to users, um, encouraging, and you should encourage them to click on your page as well and read on. And they also need to be unique and not duplicated content as well. Um, so, to, so when it comes to meta descriptions and title tags, they will show up not on your site, but they will actually show up on Google search uh, engine results. So for example, um, we have a Google search uh, engine results here, and you can see um, the pages that come up when we are searching for uh, something like this. We get the page title, um, and we have the meta description, which is this small description here. And this is basically just, uh, written in a way that from without even clicking onto our site, users who are seeing are seeing the uh, site come up in search engine results already know what this uh, page is going to be about when they click on it. Um, they already know sort of uh, by the title and by the meta description um, what this um, result is going to be about. And if that matches what they're searching for, um, they'll more inclined to click on it. If this didn't have any kind of description at all, um, you're less likely to, uh, to click on um, the results because you're not sure what this um, is going to be about and the people will tend to go for something that they can actually understand in terms of the title and the meta description. Another part of technical SEO you need to be aware of is checking for canonical tags. These tell search engines to index and rank the right pages. If you have the same or similar content on your site, signaling to Google which one should be indexed is important and this is done through canonical tags. As mentioned before, another thing you want to make sure of is making sure that your site loads quickly. So site speed in particular is really important for user experience and it can prevent traffic and be a, a, create a high bounce rate if your pages are too slow. Um, a one second delay can result in 11% decrease in traffic according to the Aberdeen Group, which is not good for business. Another factor is that Google is fully aware of how fast your site is. This means that if your computer, if your competitor's site loads faster than yours, even if it is by a few seconds, Google will display their content before yours. There are plenty of methods to ensure that you have appropriate website uh, speeds, and uh, we looked at this one uh, before. So GT Metrics is one of them. Google Page Insights is another, and Pingdom are a great way of testing your site speed. With uh, GT Metrics as well, you can test your page in different countries. You can test your page in different browsers um, and see suggestions on how to improve set speed for your site. Google Page Speed and Insight uh, uh, analyzes speed and gives suggestions, as does Pingdom. The next thing that you want to develop is your user experience. So user experience or UX is vital for traffic. If your site has poor user experience, it can hurt SEO and your rankings and it can drive traffic to other sites. There are a few things that you can do to ensure that your site has a good user experience. Um, and this area is really important to consider as it helps users navigate your site better. One major uh, layout decision that can help with user experience is adding imagery and video, video to your uh, site, especially to your blogs. Um, a great way to ensure that your site 
um, is getting ranked by Google and has lots of content is to ensure there's lots of written content on your site. But you want to make sure that this written content is being separated out uh, with things like videos and things like uh, images as well. Um, they're really engaging. They help sell products or services and they encourage users to stay on your site a little bit longer and that'll just decrease your bounce rate. Um, another thing to consider here is also using white space. So white space will allow your content to be a bit more readable um, and helping them focus on elements surrounding the text as well. With design in mind, choose a good color palette or color scheme um, for your site is integral. So these should align with your brand and be consistent to draw attention to your products or your service um, and things like that. Using so strong CTAs um, to call attention and is a great way to instruct your visitors on what exactly it is that you want them to do next, whether that's to contact you, to get in touch, to read more, um, things like that. Having a CTA on every single page uh, above the fold ensures that users notice them and they have a really quick and easy way to get in contact or to buy if that's what you want them to do. Um, another way to uh, help with user experience is to include uh, client testimonials on your site to give a peer review of how good your products are and how good your services are. Um, ensuring that you have a fully functioning navigation bar is important for the user experience and it is what helps users find what they're looking for when they land on your site. The menu should link to most important pages and be easy to understand and don't add extra things that it doesn't need. Lastly, then, uh, another thing you want to make sure is making sure that your site is mobile friendly. Um, considering that mo one of the most parts of this, one of the most important parts of site optimi optimization is ensuring that your site is mobile friendly is crucial for being promoted in Google. So back in 2015, Google announced a mobile friendly algorithm that was going to boost mobile search rankings. They deliberately were giving mobile friendly sites an advantage as nearly everyone has a mobile device that they use to search the internet on. There are a variety of audit tools to check whether your site is mobile friendly or not. Google even have one that allows you to see a screenshot of your site on a mobile device. Um, you can also, uh, when you're on a desktop, you can right click and inspect to see um, your site on various different dim dimensions and browser width, but it's important that you also use some of Google's tools as well um, so you can see exactly um, if Google is marking your page as mobile friendly or not. So website audits are increasingly an important part of every solid technical strategy. Strategy They allow you to keep up with trends, improve your online presence, and update your content to ensure it is relevant and engaging to your users. It can be a technical process and a tedious task, but you will see solid results over time when you put in the work. Regardless, sometimes these audits can be confusing and overwhelming. If you are unsure of where to start, please contact Profile Tree to see how our team of digital marketers can transform your website and improving your rankings. Um, as well. We have lots of other articles and videos on our website, um, so check them out if you have any more um, questions or anything else that you want to uh, look at as well.